Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu my dear children Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa ahlu luqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli Rabbana zidna ilma ameen I dua that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for me and you to understand the Quran in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks to us Alhamdulillah for having this opportunity to learn his words Today we are going to start Surah Al-Waqi'ah which is 56th Surah in the Quran and it is in the 27th Juz. It has 96 Ayat. The main topic of the Surah is the Day of Judgment and the three groups that people are going to be divided in on that day. Before starting the Surah we need to understand about the idea of the Day of Judgment. My dear children, in this dunya, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent us and made the dunya perfect for us. Right? He provided everything that we needed physically to survive on earth. Air to breathe, sun for the warmth and light, moon to know the counting of the days and the months, plants for food, animals for wool and milk and meat every single thing that we needed and it's not that he provided only for our physical needs but for our spiritual needs he sent prophets and books to tell us what is good and what is bad and how to choose our way and he sent them so that we would know that there is an important day coming and that is the day of judgment my dear children we should all know that we are here in this dunya for a very short period of time. So this little time that we have on earth, we should benefit from the guidance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent through his books and his prophets. But some people, instead of choosing the right path, they choose the wrong path, the path of bad deeds. And they become the companions of shaitan. They hurt others, they cheat, they lie, and now the will disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to understand that this dunya is a test. Yes, in this dunya, everyone is free to choose whichever path he wants to choose. We should all know that the day of judgment is coming on which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask about our choices that we made in this dunya. And people will get their results on that day. So let's start the surah. A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ida, when, waqa'at, it happened. Al waqi'ah, the event which will happen. Laysa, it is not. Li waqa'atiha, for its happening. Kadiba. One who denies. Now, the running translation is when the inevitable, like unstoppable event will come to happen, no one will be able to deny its happening. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking about the day of judgment. As you all know that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has called the day of judgment with different names in the Quran, like Qiyamah, Sakha, Qari'ah. So why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has called the day of judgment with different names because of the different things which are going to happen on that day. As you all know that the belief in the day of judgment is from the articles of faith and anyone, anyone who denies the day of judgment cannot be considered a Muslim. Now we all know that on the day of judgment either people with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and their right choices they will be rewarded jannah or because of some people's wrong choices and bad deeds they are going to get punishment nowadays some people have started to say that no everyone should go to jannah and no one should go to hell which is a form of punishment let's understand you tell me if there is a murderer or a thief in this dunya, what do you do with such people? Do you say no, they should not get any punishment? Or you say that the police should catch them and punish them and 
put them in jail? Definitely your answer is going to be that such people should get their punishment. Okay, now we are going to take another example. Let's say you are one of the good students in the school and there is another student who is a bully. He comes in the classroom, breaks your pencil box, throws your bag out of the classroom, kicks you and beats you up. Now when the teacher comes and you tell her what has happened, what do you think you will say if your teacher says no punishment for this kid? You are both good. Hmm? You would cry out, no, it's not fair. I follow the rules of the school. I should get respect. And this other student who is a bully and he beat me up should get the punishment. Isn't that so? Isn't that right? Okay, then that is the idea of the day of judgment. That those who knowingly did bad deeds and disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's rules, they are definitely going to get what they deserve. So in these two ayat uh, of Surah Al-Waqiyah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying the day of judgment is definitely going to come and no one can deny its coming and no one would be able to deny when once it happens. Now my dear children, let's make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma ahsin aqibatana fil umuri kulliha wa ajirna min khizi dunya wa adab al akhirah. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, give us the best results to our matters and save us from humiliation in this world and from the punishment of the hereafter. Ameen. Try your best to do as many good deeds as you can in this world and don't waste your time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashadu la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.